we had the opportunity to talk to the head of the, the one person in charge, one of the senior advisor of the prime minister in charge of the Italian Matteo plan for Africa. Here's what he has to say. So, I want to follow up with you regarding something that the Prime Minister talked about during the press conference, yes. which is on the Italy material plan, and you are in charge of that. Could you talk, expand a little bit uh, for our audience, as well as Italian, how this will benefit the average Italian, the average American, the average member of the G7, and people that might be resistant to immigration, that think immigration might be taking away job or opportunity for them. So if you could expand on how this will not only benefit Italian, it will benefit Africans, it will benefit other nations part of the world. I understand. So, um I would take examples first and foremost, how does it benefit both sides of the Mediterranean? So for example, energy, we, after the uh, Russian aggression in Ukraine, the energy flows that used to come from northeast were suddenly, you know, uh, we, get, we went down from 40% to less than 10% where we stand right now. Where are we going to get the new energy? Most of it right now is energy coming from Algeria, from the southern shore of the Mediterranean, it's natural gas. But what we're trying to do is develop sustainable energy, clean energy, from North African regions, but not only, from uh, Sub-Saharan African regions as well, in order to make it win-win for both. We can gain more energy, but at the same time, the African nations will gain more energy and clean energy, and it will be a win-win developing for both sides. So this is an example of how, when Prime Minister Meloni says, Africa is an opportunity, the African continent is an opportunity, it's, it's not just a challenge, an issue, this is exactly what she means. So this is a concrete example. Um, on your second um, uh, question, so how does it connect the G7 and the PDN, and so what she has tried to portray in the many issues that she was tackling is the G7 for the first time was open to many different nations in, uh, in not only Africa, North Africa, Middle East, uh, because in order to not have the G7 sort of as a fortress that is closed in itself, but it's actually trying to work together, you need to have an outreach which is larger than usual if you want to talk about a continent as large as Africa. So that's what she tried to do, and, and that was the message she was trying to convey. Um, and, the, and she dedicated a whole side event session, the PGII uh, and the Global Gateway of the EU, with the private sector in order to see where we could make a difference, what concrete results we could bring. One of them was the Lobito Corridor that is uh, apparently should uh, uh, connect uh, Angola to uh, the DRC and to Zambia. Um, there was an announcement of more than $320 um, million dollars from Italy in this G7 session. So these are concrete results. We are, we are putting the vision of the Matei Plan in synchronization with the G7 PGII and with the EU Global Gateway. So this is just a taste that I hope explains, you know, in these works what was done here at the G7. And you believe that this we address some of the migration issue that we are not only seeing in Italy, in European I mean, nation as well as other parts of the world. I mean, you know, it's it's obviously long-term issues, they're complex issues, but if if the message is we're just here to stop illegal migration and that is the end of our message, this message will not be sustainable and will not resonate. Of course we're here to fight smugglers, to fight illegal migration, but at the same time, as the Prime Minister said, we have enlarged the, the number, the quota of legal migrants that should come to Italy, um, and, and at the same time, as I said before, working in partnership with African countries to develop together. So this is the long, medium, long-term solution, and that is very important to bring ahead together with the rest. Okay, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you.